What is an altar? Christian daily devotion. 1 Kings 18.30 Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Altar is a place of sacrifice. You cannot offer any kind of sacrifice, whether spiritual or physical sacrifice, without making use of an altar. Sacrifices are very powerful in our interaction with the spiritual realm. Everyone that is somebody in any field of human endeavor and doing anything significant has altars where he sacrifices and interacts with powers beyond him. Altars and sacrifices are the secrets of the richest men, the most blessed men and women. The strongest and powerful men you know are men and women who have their altars where they constantly offer their sacrifices. The wisest and greatest kings service their altars with their sacrifices. The most powerful prophets anywhere are men and women who value their altars and does not joke with their sacrifices. For anything to be deemed a sacrifice, it must meet three requirements. It must be costly, it must hurt you, and it must pain you. The reward is the cost. The healing is in and the hurt, and the pay is in the pain. Sacrifices to deliberately wound yourself. It must be intentional and not accidental. If you want to become great, you must first become a man and a woman of sacrifice and this requires an altar. All things are possible to them who pay the price. Sacrifice is giving out things that are precious and valuable to you. It focuses on the cost involved and not the volume, the quality and not the quantity of what you are giving. The process of sacrifice is painful and an altar is indispensable if you must do it right. Altar is a place from where you connect into the spiritual realm. Through an altar, you fellowship and interact with the Almighty God or Satan and his demons. An altar serves as the entry point into the spiritual realm. It is your access point to powers beyond man. It is the meeting point between the natural and the supernatural. It connects man to powers that can fight for him quarters in, in areas beyond his natural ability and understanding. An altar is a place of invocation. The foundation of any altar and the powers behind them determines what you can invoke there. If it is a satanic altar and established upon satanic principles and ideologies, you can only invoke Satan and his demonic agents there. On the contrary, if it is a godly altar that is established on the word, will and ways of God, then you can call upon God and his Holy Spirit and be assured of an answer that comes from God. An altar is where you service and activate your covenants. A covenant is an agreement that involves blood. It is the strongest force in the realm of the spirit. It is a living phenomenon. Every covenant requires constant servicing and activation, and this requires an altar. In covenants, the power of the strong is made available to the weak, and the weak transfer his weakness to the strong. Similarly, the wealth of the rich is made available to the Po in a covenants. Through this means, the two parties in the covenant becomes equal. They can utilize one another's resources as covenant rights to actualize their desires. When people enter into covenants, there are usually certain physical and spiritual exchange that happens. One universal principle which applies in all covenants is that it takes death to validate the covenant. In all cases, the death of the sacrifice typifies the death of the one who presented them. This sacrifice demands an altar where it must be offered, the covenant activated and constantly serviced. Prayer. I activate the altar of God to destroy every satanic altars working against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I activate God's covenant over your life to counteract any negative covenant working against your life and destiny in the mighty name Jesus Christ.